Hi, uh, now we will see uh, in facing uh, what are all the parameters left out and along with that in drilling uh, uh, suppose you want to have a, a flat end at the uh, end of the drill how to achieve that and along with that we will see the parting of option So for that, uh, definitely we need to do some uh, uh, stock setup and selecting the profile and other thing. So I have made it everything ready. So, so let us put the uh, center del first. Uh, a depth uh, will keep uh, minus 2.5. Accept. Uh, now it sees that it took uh, fit in the stock. Uh, this is because uh, uh, it is having some stock. It is not phased. So we will we'll, we'll modify that. So in the parameter itself, that start point, uh, if you change it, So we will we'll, we'll change the start point now. A uh, little back if you keep uh, Z, I'll, I'll keep uh, 5 mm. Now you can see that it has machined correctly. So just we have come from the So if you keep uh, uh, the start point is zero zero means uh, the tool will come and hit on the um, feed rate, uh, rapid rate. So just we will check the diameter of this uh, hole, flat hole. So it is a uh, 26.88. Suppose uh, we will put a 25 diagonal and let us see. So next we will copy this uh, tool path. And we will paste it. We will change the tool diameter and see. So we will take the tool of um, 12 dia tool uh, depth we can select it directly here I will make the factory first taking 5 mm subsequent taking 4 mm uh, region rate uh, so next we will uh, take uh, next uh, uh, step drill I mean pre drill next size pre drill there is no 25 drill I think so so we need to uh, redefine this uh, tool diameter to 25 uh, length of the tool is uh, too less yes I think I selected wrong tool uh, Remaining thing I have not changed only the length of the tool I modified sorry size of the tool modified now you can see that at the at the corner at the back uh, material is left out so in order to remove this material 
I just copied the tool, uh, that operation and uh, pasted here. But actually, I need at uh, the front is a flat end. Now you can use the end mill to clear this. So now I took a uh, 25 diameter tool. So you can do this one by G81 itself. Even if you keep in pegging also, nothing going to be uh, wrong here. Now you can see it become a flat now. At the top, uh, little metal is left out. Uh, that you can remove by uh, finishing. So you can click ID tool. So we'll, we'll start point will change it little uh, away from the stock. Otherwise we'll do facing first then we'll go for the uh, finishing operation. Tool path. Facing. Facing tool will take. I'll change setup. Okay. So I think. Uh, I'll, I'll change uh, one M so remaining thing corner baking lead in lead out filters all the things we have seen already inspection all the things we have seen already now there is one more option called second field rate and spindle speed So if you want to add second feed rate, single speed, uh, we can add it. Now uh, what is the meaning of it, we can uh, see it in the help. Select the chain, the feed rate and the single speed for the given diameter of the face cut. This So you can change the feed rate and spindle feed. This parameter actually we have already given in the uh, beginning of the uh, tool selection itself. If you further want modification, you can modify here. Okay, so this is the facing. This uh, same tool path, uh, we are uh, doing it now from the top to bottom. The same way you can do this facing from uh, center to uh, top, uh, cut away from the center. That is also possible that I will explain you now. Now I am taking the horizontal tool, not the vertical tool. Mm, okay. Now, now, now there is option you see that cut away from the center line. That I am going to use it now. Now you can see it has uh, finished. Just we will back plot and see how it is look like. It is, it is a uh, reverse method of facing. It doesn't mean that always you need to do the facing only top from the top to center. Or you have uh, 
option to do it in the uh, from center to top also I will just modify the desktop cut now so like this also you do the you can do the facing operation so it is based on your requirement you can do it but in some specific uh, applications uh, uh, need of this kind of uh, machining also so now we need to finish the internal size I'll select finish uh, from that point to this point I am going to do the finishing I, I, I'll select the same tool what I used last time so I'll put the point five is the step four uh, number of passes uh, can we can we make it two passes? Okay, I'll say oh, yes. Now you can see the back plot. This first pass and this is the second pass. Okay. Anyway, we need to uh, rough out the top of uh, um, material also. I selected the chain. I use the selected a tool and I use the stock for outer boundary. I like. <coughs> Okay, so roughing is over. We'll, we'll, we'll finish uh, the profile also, outer profile. Uh, I'll select chain last. Okay. I took the finishing tool change the setup clockwise ok ok now I will accept I will do it in the single pass no problem now up to here we have done <coughs> Now we need to do the grooving. So far we have not seen groove tool path. So here we have not thought of seeing the groove tool path. So in the next uh, class we will see the uh, grooving. Now left out is the parting of uh, the profile. So it is asking you to select the uh, cut off boundary point. I have selected uh, approximately now. Uh, let us see how it is look like. Uh, you check it uh, length uh, the tool. So 15 mm I think. So I will uh, older. So the C value is 37. So we will we'll, we'll modify a little bigger we will say draw tool and see that how the tool is look like ok this is ok ok some warning has come ok I will accept so we will give the name the warning is about asking you we we'll give the name So you can type uh, the name of the tool. You can give your own uh, name to the tool.
even if you want to modify the C value, you can change it. So let us see first. Huh? And uh, still if there is any change needed, we will do it, no problem. So now we will see the cutoff parameters. These are the cutoff parameters. This is the entry height. So the, the tool has to come uh, above this stock. That amount you can add it here. This is a track. So it is in incremental, it should be kept in the. So you, you never keep the retract in the absolute. If you keep absolute, then it will be difficult. The target is 0, 0. And if you want any corner radius, you can add it. So it is nothing but the corner breaking. Okay, already we have seen. So this is a compensation, how to take the compensation. So you can secondary rates if you want to modify you can modify it. So if you want uh, chamfer also at the edges and the corner you can modify or if you want a radius you can modify the radius. Both the things you can do it. So now we will say ok to this. Now we will see how it is cutting. We are given the pegging still it is not uh, done with pegging. Uh, maybe we need to give pegging here. So pegging will give in depth. Retract moves will give in the incremental. 1 mm will keep or 2 mm. Uh, it means that after 3 mm it, uh, it will retract little uh, back. If you want to dwell you can add it. Region. Now you can back plot and see how it is look like. Hmm, now it is again. Uh, this back radius is uh, not uh, actually it's not happening exactly what we expected on the corner breaking so we will see shall we increase the uh, size of the radius size of the corner radius how much will you? So we'll give. Uh, we'll give two m. Mm. Let us see. Let us see how it is look like. But it's visible only. Uh, the radius is forming, but uh, it is not forming as per our, uh, our exact uh, requirement. We will modify the start uh, point. Let us see. 
yes uh, it is happening still but not uh, not it, it it but it taking a little away from the uh, the exact point but it is happening so we will still modify uh, make it uh, zero zero Okay. Somewhere I made a mistake. I think so. So let us see now. And I am doing a step forward option so that I will study this uh, clearly. I think I did it uh, because of the conversation it is happening. Mm, let us check. No. It is leaving stock also now. Mm -hmm. uh, something went wrong. Now, uh, uh, whether whether this start point means, uh, I think I have selected uh, approximately outside the boundary, so that is the wrong uh, selection because of this uh, reason. Uh, we are struggling now, so I'll do one thing. So I'll go to uh, line command. I'll I'll draw this. Uh, one line exact point let us uh, study it how it is look like now so i will say change the start point now let us see now you can see how it is look like yes so it is because of the selection point. So I have selected approximate uh, that start point that made uh, this much difficulty. So now uh, we will uh, correct this by expanding the line. 
uh, sometimes this uh, small small things uh, definitely uh, make uh, difficulties so now we will do one thing we will analyze the what is uh, existing radius suppose if i change the center line now uh, that means uh, the start point from uh, other uh, uh, starting of the radius then how it is look like that we also studied i rechange the so this is a r4 means dia4 uh, uh, r4 r4 i will modify this also you see now how it is uh, look like now it is cutting a negative <laughs> okay so last time what we made is the start point is the correct one so we will we'll modify this till to refine the situation so i reverse the compensation let us see so what is the problem is uh, the radius is it's forming but it is uh, forming on the air so still still we need to modify uh, the distance so i'll draw one more line horizontally so both are meeting at a point no that point i will select as the uh, uh you I, if i select the start point of uh, parting off i hope that everything will will be clear now okay so what it is saying okay i'll select okay pool somewhere it is sitting uh, so somewhere it is uh, the tool is sitting on the workpiece so one more changes also we might have uh, done it so in the roughing and uh, and uh, finishing we did it only up to that point but we need to have little extended so if you have done that a little extension this uh, whole issue uh, will be solved so i will modify little in the finishing and roughing i little extend the uh, roughing parameters in the lead out i will increase the length by this is about entry access okay we will do one thing we will extend the line and we'll finish the issue now let me extend the dot line and rechain so i'll rechain that my start point reverse the chain and up to this point okay i'll do it one by one uh, 
this is a real uh, issue i just want to show you that's the reason uh, i made all the things and uh, struggles also how the problem comes how to resolve this problem those things uh, we have explained we will say retain in the uh, finishing also retain because roughing we have modified the same thing has to be done in the finishing also so that's the reason i'm retaining for the finish okay now we have uh, almost solved all the issues there is some more uh, issue it is showing first we will see the back plot So I have just a little uh, extended my uh, rough out, outer rough out. Now you can see that it is making the corner break very well. Now we have spent this much time to uh, resolve this particular issue only. So we need to do the uh, the X selection point and Z Z and X selection point exactly. So otherwise it's difficult. Okay, thank you.